Hello, my name is Tim and I'm a founder of Thermoforming Tech. I want to discuss your Thermoforming Quest demo. I believe it was pretty simple and straightforward in the beginning. You found an opportunity and it was about choosing a machine, starting your production, calculating how much money you get from your customers and how much money you spend in process. And then you started to browse equipment suppliers' web pages. You visited a trade show or two and maybe even got a couple of quotations, right? So what you have found out, there is different types of thermoforming machines. There is a variety of parameters and each of them is very important, but none of these parameters give you a clear and exact answer. What's your productivity? What's the output and efficiency and how much money the system generates for you? Then you found out that there is a mold maker, which is usually a third party, which will provide the mold for your machine. And all the parameters which you really need to know are related to the mold. Getting replies from your mold maker requires lots of information about your product and you have to wait for a couple of days before you get some replies. Then there is a bunch of side equipment like a chiller, grinder, compressor. You need extrusion line in some cases and how to plant your plant. So the deeper you go, the more questions without answers you get and it snowballs to the mistake which we call paralysis by analysis. We've been watching thermoforming projects for more than 10 years of our 15 years in the industry. And we've seen that so many times. That inspired us to create workflow and set of frameworks for new Thermoforming projects to go with a fast track through the project planning stage. Welcome to Thermoforming Tech, and I hope you will find the answers here.